What is up everybody and welcome back to The Devil in Me. Now if you have not seen the first episode of this, I would obviously recommend you go watch that before starting this one. So I'm just going to assume everybody watching this moving forward knows what this is, so we're not going to waste any time, we're just going to get right back into it. It's fine, let's just get on with things. This place is massive, surely there is a pack of cigarettes in here somewhere, mm -hmm. even if they're ancient. You need them that bad? There was a bar off the lobby, there must be cigarettes in the bar, right? Once I again, mean, like I said, we're in a house, so, bars, so I think. Come on, we're checking. If you find them first, all will be forgiven. Because this is a house. I mean, I listened back through, um, you know, editing the first episode. I remembered, or I didn't remember, I just saw again what the dialogue was. So basically, this is uh, something that Mr. Dumet, or Dumont, whatever his name is, inherited from a relative who... And that relative the happened to be this place is... obsessed I we've looked into this. with the killer. So are this is like a recreation of sorts, cheap? I do believe. They are cheap. Can't be helped. This will be the one that people remember. The one that wins an Emmy? Exactly. Uh -oh. That's the spirit. Stick with me, Erin. I'm going places. You think we'll get her? I believe in you, season? Charlie. Let me worry about that. You stick to making sure that my life runs smoothly and I'll make sure you keep working. Sound good? Uh, sure. Hey, Charlie. I was hoping next season maybe I could do more with the sound design, more creative stuff. Erin, what you already do for this company is very valuable to us. Carrying your bags and picking up your laundry? Damn. Absolutely. To get ahead in this industry, you have to pay your dues. Show you're ready to muck in. Secret found. I... Shows. Okay, that's not really a secret. I think you should get an assistant. An assistant? Oh, it was just a stupid idea, Charlie. I'm an just... An assistant? A personal assistant? Sort of. Oh, whoops. And then I could help out with the editing. Pardon me? The editing? The audio mix. Look, I just think you've got so much to give, so much experience. And it's an opportunity to pass that knowledge on. Right. Yes, I suppose it is. And an assistant wouldn't lose my cigarettes, would they? Exactly. Am I supposed to be going this way? You know who else probably hey, wouldn't... Mr. Dumet is in the back office. You could just ask him about cigarettes. Well, this is so, strange. Do you still want to direct movies, Charlie? I am directing. I suppose I should be thankful it's just my cigarettes that are missing and not our gear. No, but I mean real movies. With a big budget. And big stars. Erin, there's something important that you have to understand. In the work that we do, the very important work, the truth is the star. Oh, right. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Sorry, Charlie. Totally, totally, Charlie. So you don't want to direct movies. Can we move on from this? Doors with keyholes can be unlocked using keys. Would have never guessed that one. Who's dinging? Who's ringing my bell? Now this fucking hour, oh my god, I mean... Have some respect. Hello? Well, that's useful. Erin! I found the key! You're not gonna... Not gonna question that one, Charles. All right, if you don't, if you don't care, I don't care. Open that bad boy up. And let's find some cigarettes for old Charlie boy. Why don't I go check for a gift shop or something? I've already had one asthma attack today and this dust farm is exactly what I don't need. A gift shop might have cigarettes. Exactly. Had a girl. Mm-hmm. Sure. This looks a lot like... Okay, this is definitely a reference to The Shining. Hello? Wow. An animatronic. Ha! That's what amazing. What would be, Mr. Dumet, sir? <laughs> I'll have a packet of cigarettes, please. A packet of cigarettes, please. Hello? Hello? A packet of smokes. Was that my reflection or what? Never mind. 
Thank you, Robo Bowman. Certainly, sir. Whatever you wish. <laughs> hmm. No fucking way. Thank you very much, my mechanical friend. Special feature. Much appreciated. Okay. Let's get some cigarettes. Exact change only. Who the fuck carries quarters? Yes. <laughs> yes. <sighs> Just break the fucking glass. Damn it. Who's gonna know? Okay, search the bar for money. Can do. There is a cash register right here that you would think would have the money in it. Lock it. Is it? It's not pulling hard enough? Okay, I'm going to assume it's it's locked because that's not working, but it keeps prom prompting me to, to click it, so... It's a bit strange. Okay, let's see if we can find something to maybe bust open. Bust open that register. Miss Kelly Schroeder. Once again, I would like to thank you for the incredible work you and your team achieved at the hotel. I'd like to extend my heartfelt condolences. The accident that befell the skeleton crew on the lake is nothing short of a tragedy, and I, in part, feel responsible. In honor of them, I have spent the last several months applying the finishing touches to the hotel, and I'm proud to say that we are almost ready to open to the public. Please allow me to extend my sincere gratitude. I invite yourself and the rest of your team to join me for the grand opening ceremony, 7 p.m. Friday, November 17th, 2017. I promise a spectacular evening with a themed entertainment, including a barbershop quartet. I'm sure you will agree that all of your hard work was worth it when you enjoy the unique hotel experience. Sincerely, Richard Belknap. Okay. You know what would really make a crew who did work for you feel appreciated? A fucking paycheck, Richard. I don't suppose you've got any spare change back there, have you? So or not. Charles, you are talking to a fucking mannequin. Anything around here? No. This would be absolutely fucking awesome to actually have. I'm a sucker for old architecture. You know, if I ever hit the lottery or something, I'm buying an old-ass mansion that's most likely haunted, and I'm gonna pass it down generation by generation, baby. Good morning to you all. I'm Chester Bell, say? Assistant Director at the Federal Bureau of Investigation. At approximately 0530 local time, a team led by the Beast Special of Arkansas. Agent Shit, is that me? And supported by law enforcement Actually, I don't know who that is. Let me not. Conducted a raid of a motel. <laughs> Let me not ask if that's me yet. Birmingham, Alabama, to apprehend Manny Sherman, the man known as the Beast of Arkansas. Using state-of-the-art psychological profiling techniques, Special Agent Monday and members of his task force not only identified their suspect, but predicted his movement with unerring accuracy. I'm delighted to say. We have our man. Okay. Oh, capture of notorious serial killer. Yeah, let's not. Let's not say that's me, okay? Alrighty. So, is that somebody's obsession with serial killers coming on? Somebody got a hobby that they're looking to recreate at this mansion or something? Alright, what the fuck am I doing here, people? Oh! I'm sorry, I didn't see that. <laughs> Holy fucking cock and balls! Alright. Next round's on me. Promise. Okay, I'm gonna assume he got something out of there. Let's grab some cigarettes and be on our way. They're gonna get stuck, aren't they? Yep. Oi. 
Oi! Uh, 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 uh. I was Rice looking. Would be so much I meant to hit it. I was looking for like a. That in my jacket pocket. Like a target. That's annoying. Find a way to get the cigarettes out of the dispenser. Okay. Oh. No. No, please. I'm having a really shit day, and you've just made it worse. Damn, poor Charlie. Okay, I didn't really need to see that cutscene again, but okay. No biggie. Let me move my mic up just a touch. I think that might be better. Okay. Alright, so I don't think there's anything in here. Okay, never mind. Oh, yes. Don't need to. <laughs> Thank you, Lord! Ha! Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Charles, behind you! What? Fight your addiction. No, come on, you piece of shit. Don't do this to me! Charlie. Antique rubbish. Give them to Charlie, me! Charlie, turn around. Give me my cigarettes! Charlie, I'm gonna have to ask you to turn around immediately. That's it. I'm gonna go and get my key grip, and they are gonna kick the shit out of you. Hey, Charlie! Yeah? I'm still in the bar. I think it's dinner time. Um, we should get everyone what? else. Okay, I'm coming. And I'm coming back for you with a fucking pry bar. Are you alone in there? Who's that behind the bar? What? Huh. Very strange. Uh-oh. We are not alone, people. Hey. Had a thought on an intro segment. You want to shoot now? Yeah, if we get it shot and in the bank, maybe Charlie will stop rewriting everything I come up with. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sure. What? Nothing. Just give me a sec, and I'll be good to go. I'm supposed to buy nothing is eating away at you? Yes. How many times have you cleaned that lens? I'm just prepping my gear. Really? Yeah. Always focusing on the detail, Mark. What about taking a huge risk and just do something? I watched you fuss for a whole week before you turned down that job offer, all because you had to take one extra train to get there. Ah! Uh, the job wasn't the right move. The train thing confirmed it. Yeah, f fuck a long commute. Buy it. You don't have to buy it. Come on, let's just shoot this. Let's use natural light so we can do it alone. Didn't the lobby have skylight? I don't remember. I just want to look decent. Well, it's fucking night time, so, uh... You look good in any light, Kate. You look good in any light. I'm not worried. Are you trying to butter me up? Yes. We gotta make it's everybody working. fall back in love before everybody dies, I'll you know? Take... Nobody oh, wants to die alone. Why are you letting them all think I broke up with you? I feel like if Jamie knew the truth, she might back off. I mean... They all just assumed. I can't decide if that's sweet or selfish. Or both. Uh, can I say something? Before we... Look, can I... Your eyes don't something? look real. I'm we sorry to say this. We're sticking to just the job. Right. Which but your eyeballs you look fake. And drive by psychoanalyze me. I... Okay. You're right. That wasn't fair. I'm sorry. We don't need to rehash stuff. Let's just work. Um... Uh... Ah, uh, you're right. No, you're let's right. just let's just get back I, on um, the job. You're right. We agreed. I'm sorry. Gotta take things slow, Look, people. Let's go find some light and get started. Relationships are tricky. Thanks for doing this. You're only asking me because your arms are too short for a good selfie angle. My arms are not short. <laughs> okay. Where to? Uh, the balcony would make for a cool angle. Let's find a way up there. Okay. How's the new place? It'll do for now. Do you like it? 
It's just a place to keep my shit in crash. Short-term lease, so I can take my time to find something I really like. That's... Hmm. Smart plan. You said I needed to be out, so I got out. I was complimenting you. No, just saying. I was worried you'd be sleeping on the couch in the studio while you... Up I didn't mean to find it so quickly. Is this it? So if Dumek catches us in here, are we breaking one of his rules? He did say not to go wandering. And we did practically bust the door down and get in here. We? So maybe we should take uh -oh. care. Uh-oh. Squid game. Probably. Huh. Okay. Guess we're not totally alone. Yeah, no. And yeah, isn't it like supposed Dumet to be kind of dude who loses his shit if you break his rules? Almost oh, eight o'clock. When he took away our phones, like we were kind of teenagers. Use my camera. Okay, that's not really what I'm trying to do here. Um. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm guessing this is not the balcony. Kind of looks like a balcony, but. Balcony does imply outside. Um, isn't it eight, isn't it supposed to be eight thirty, or like not eight thirty, but isn't it about to be eight because we're about to have dinner? Doesn't really seem like it's eight o'clock. Oh wow, yeah, that's there's something back here. Yeah, it's called the fucking murder room, baby. I busted open. No. All right. Um, are we on the second floor? I mean, maybe I just assumed. No, wait. I mean, if we're doing American flooring, what do I do here, guys? If this is like the American floor rules. Shit. <laughs> okay. That scared the shit out of me. That's and the there are, there's somehow extra fucking rooms in here. Didn't really realize that. Okay, we got a balcony door. That's that's a good sign. We're gonna go through here first. Find some secrets. Look at this wallpaper. Look at this fucking floor. This is a old cave as hell. Everything here is old as hell. I was expecting an old exterior, but remodeled inside. There. See that key? Just need to find a way through. How about busting open the fucking door? Looks like Dumet is trying to preserve things. Manny Sherman. Uh oh, here we go. January 1, 1956. Come on. You know all this. What do you want? What's this? Huh. You've been doing your research, haven't you, Special Agent Monday? What are my favorite television programs? Describe my first pet? What were your friends like as a child? What is this? You're taking a survey, you're trying to learn something. Would it kill you to be direct? You wanted to know what inspired me? As if I wasn't an original? Well, maybe there was one man I found myself. A little fascinated by Henry Howard. Holmes. Didn't see that coming. Why? Because he was numero uno, America's first. The guy invented the trade. He set the benchmark. You know. Learn your history, Monday. Read a book. You think because I stuck a blade in some people and get off on it, I'm not smart? I, uh, allegedly killed 13 people before you got smart enough to find me. Hmm. Rod okay. is going to set in. Right. That's it. What? Well, since we got here, I've been smelling something faint, distant. Can't place it. It's decay. There's got to be a way through. Okay, so I guess we need that key for this, for this door. Um, I'm not entirely oh, wow. sure 
How? Um, Island beaches with dead fish, animals in the wood. I come up this. Be anything. Whatever it is, there we go. it's dead as hell. I wonder how the this Arkansas beast thing uh, ties into the story. Alrighty. What to do? Do we do a little jumpy jump? Uh -huh. <laughs> push. Why would I push this? Oh, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. And then we're going to move this a little bit. And we're going to hop on up. Uh, no, we're not. We're going to, we're going to push it. Uh, okay, didn't mean to do that. Sure, I did not. And then we're going to push a little bit more. And then we're going to, then we're going to hop up. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure they just took that engine straight from Skate 3 because it's glitchy as all hell. Okay. Keep your head down. Is she following me? Who are you talking to, pal? I kind of want to go up there. I don't know if I can. Ah, shit. Mark, we're being watched. This is... This is kind of eerie, my friends. Alright, is this open? A new... A new... It is not... Okay, where should I? Over here? I'm gonna have to have mul- I'm gonna have to make multiple trips down, aren't I? We're in this for the long haul. Ain't got no place to be. Alrighty. There we go. Gonna get a workout in, Mark. Climbing ladders. How the Romans did it. The transitions between animations could be, you know, a little bit smoother. They're, um. I don't know, they're quite. Oh, push. They're it's quite, sure. um. Mark? You okay in there? I'll be right back. Yeah, I'm good. Don't, don't, don't you worry. They're kind of janky. I mean, there's always like a slight delay, which is a bit annoying. It's a bit annoying, but you know, no big deal. I could move slightly quicker. You look like a pretty athletic guy, Mark. I'm pretty sure you can get up and down these ladders slightly, slightly faster. If you really tried, if you put your, put your mind to it. Alright, so, I'm very cur- okay, what is this getting stuck on? I'm very curious to see how Mr. Dumet and everybody play into this. Because he's out of here, I mean, he's gone. Him and his daughter got on that boat and they fucking dipped. So, they brought us here for some reason. Um, I guess only time will tell what that reason is, but there are people watching us. Um... And I can't imagine it's it's for anything that's good for us. All right. But yeah, going back to what I was talking about earlier, I would fucking love to have a place like this in real life. I mean, this would be so cool to have a fucking hotel, like a like a like a model hotel, essentially. From the fucking 1800s. Where'd the key go? Oh. Um, that'd be so fucking awesome. Got the balcony key, baby. Got it. Now please tell me I can just walk out of here. Okay. That would have been slightly annoying otherwise. Oh god. Don't stand like that, Kate. Like a fucking ghost. All right, let's get to shooting.
This feels like this should be... Oh. This balcony. I thought we were going, like, outside or something. Oh, come on. It's not that high. I was about to say, this door... This door does not seem like it's going outside. This seems like a pretty interior door, but... You know, old houses. Weird shit. I thought we were going for, like, natural light. Uh, we'll just say nothing. Not everything needs a comment. Something I can help you with? You're staring. What? No. Uh, sorry. Okay, are we gonna film this shit or what? Hmm. Possessions belonging to victims of H.H. Holmes Chicago, 1896. So this is... This is our Jeff and Marie, right? Because that was her ring, and he gave her the necklace. Okay. Yeah, man, people obsessed with serial killers are pretty hey, fucking it's weird. A, it's his hat. Who? H.H. H. Holmes. Don't touch it. <laughs> Jesus Fuck. fucking Christ. You okay? No! I just... This fucking thing popped out of nowhere. Jesus. See? What is it? Some kind of animatronic? Yeah, a fucked up looking one. <sighs> it can't hurt you. It scared you. It Have scared you ever you played twice. fucking Five Nights at Freddy's? Hey, Charlie, it's eight. Dinner time. Damn it. We didn't get anything. There's still time. Come on, let's not keep Charlie waiting or we'll never hear the end of it. Well, that was fucking pointless. Hey, be civil with Charlie. He's the one who chose to be uncivil blowing up on me when all I did was my job. I'm the one doing the talking on camera, not him. Come on, you came in hot on him and you know it. Not that you're wrong, but you know he meets anger with more anger. This is on him, Mark, not me. Uh... Seems like Charlie can kind of be Charlie a dick, be a so, uh... Did you see his notes? Yeah, I saw them. I can't say half the shit he writes. It may look good on the page, but there's more to it. I'm trying to help, and he throws it back in my face. Because you... Because he thinks you're just trying to get content for your showreel. What if I was? Um... That's how I mean, if have he, to be. yeah, it's if he's the director, he's kind of got to, you know, direct has it. to play in a little bit. That's why I just shut up and point the camera. That doesn't mean he has to be an asshole. No, but... True. Imagine if you were in his shoes, 40-something, still waiting for your big break. Kate, this show is the closest he'll ever have to success. I guess. <laughs> doesn't matter. One way or another, I am moving on from Lana at Entertainment. Um... We'll just say nothing. I don't think either of those really Charlie would replace are what need to be said. Oh, fuck, I just punched my fucking microphone. Himself. He's using us. I deserve better than this. So do you. We all do. Kate! Mark! Dinner is on. Aren't you hungry? Yeah, on our way! Great! Did he hear us? Obviously, Mark. Ah, shit. Uh-oh. Mr. Squid Game has a... has an art project in the works. What was that? You know, what if he just likes to make dolls? That doesn't make him a criminal. Hey guys! Seems like you could fill out the room a bit more, maybe. Think it's okay if we pour some wine? God, please do. Has anyone seen Mr. Dumet? Shouldn't we wait for him? Just pour Mark. Um, let's just all relax. Let's just relax. We just sat down, give the man a moment. 
Let's it's not. Bad. Let's not be. <laughs> I'm not showing certain trash with every other lawn at entertainment inside source. Come on, Kate. Hello, Mr. Dumet. Dinner time. Ah, oh, Mr. Dumet. I love what you've done with your hair. We started on the wine. Hope that's all right with Dumet? you. Dumet. Yeah, that dude ain't coming. Wait. What? Why? He saw all the snide things you tweeted from his limo. I didn't. What are you talking about, Jamie? He got back aboard the ferry and left. What? When? Right after we got to our rooms. He just left. You're sure? Can't be. You must be mistaken. I'm not blind. I know what I saw. Why would he leave? That makes no sense. It was him and some girl. They were in a big ass hurry. Guess you were right. There was some kid here. I saw them together when I was looking for my room. It must be his kid, right? Didn't he say something about family? I don't remember. Either way, why did they leave? Does that mean we're the only ones here? Hell no. Why would he invite us here and to dinner and then just leave? Um. I'll do this one. I'm, I'm sure, sure he, he does. <laughs> sure he does have a good reason, Maybe but it's not a good one for us. And the dock is as far as they deliver. This could work to our advantage. How? Well, think about it. We're still here, surrounded by perfect visuals. The plan is still on track. There has to be a legit reason he left. We shouldn't leave to conclusions. Or maybe he's just playing Yes, crazy. in approximately four the hours, time, the hunt will begin. Expert, he's nothing more than a serial killer groupie. Not that I want to agree with you, like, ever. But that's what I've been saying. Demet is no damn good. That doesn't explain why he's ditched out. This is a slightly different. We have to go different. back to establish an alibi. What are you? You know, so when our bodies wash up on the other side of the lake, he has plausible deniability. Oh, oh God, Jamie. Jamie. Can you stop trying to make this worse? Well, Not she's healthy. right. Okay, fine. Just don't come crying to me if you end up dead. What is wrong with you? I'm just saying. Well, clearly this is not just a groupie. Because he has a fucking Incorrect. murder mansion. I found an extra special pack of invisible cigarettes. In fact, I'm smoking one right now. See? <laughs> that explains why you're in such that a That seems room. slightly out of place. I don't so know why I fucking doing? picked that. We just gonna sit here and pretend to eat? What's the plan, Charlie? Maybe if we all just sit here quietly and wish really hard, the magical post-production pixies will just assemble a cut for us and send it to the network. Uh oh. Let's raise a glass to the post production pixies and tensions building. Brilliant plants. <sighs> um. Yeah, y'all kind of need to shut the fuck up. Right, I mean, enough. it's not really like. It's not his like fault that he tough. left. It seems as if this may well be our last supper as a team. Given how you've all been acting. Me and my apostles. <laughs> Just wait. Give me a moment. I can't decide who the Judas is. I've got so many options. And of course you're the martyr. You're going to find out very soon that you won't get very far without being a team player, Kate. Enough Sunday school bullshit. Charlie, what's your problem now? You know, you don't always have to get a word in, Jamie. You do your best work when you're silent. Trust me. Come on, Charlie. You want us to rally behind you? Stop treating us like crap. Oh, man. Everybody's got points. It's, it's hard here. I'm sorry. You're right. I'm on edge without smoke. Let's Everybody's on back. edge. We're getting some unfavorable... So Circumstances being thrown at us. Waiting for Demet to show up to his own party. But it's nobody at this his table's house, fault. His rules. You know. I'm sure Let's all just calm it down. Shooting. Or home watching TV. But we have to make the best of it until he shows. What do we do? We're like alone here. We don't have our phones. It's not like we can leave until he's back. May Swim as well for it. Busy. Let's just shoot. Come on. He knows what we're here to do. He can't act like we're breaking his rules. Well, unless there's something he doesn't want us to shoot. Come on, I'm dying. Let's fucking shoot, baby. 
All right, all right. Let's set up. All right, everyone grab what they need and we'll meet in the lobby. Let's be as professional as possible from here on in, please. No mistakes. Perfection. If he comes back, Who's breathing in my I don't fucking want ear. him to see us fucking about or arguing. Good call. We're on it. Right, guys? Fantastic. I'd love to hear that. Everyone just got very breathy all of a sudden. Shouldn't take me long at all. Great. 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 Hmm. I don't know if I like this man. It looks like he's making Kate. Nice baseball hat. Okay, that's clearly Charlie. This is, is this like some weird magic shit? Weird. Ah, fuck. Hello? Guys? Is that you? Nope, that's a ghost. Certified ghost. Oh. Oh, I don't know if I like this. Oh, don't make me control it. Uh, okay. Uh, if there's any ghost out there, I ask that you don't scare me. Okay, further down. Okay, over here. Oh, it's so close. Okay, it's definitely this room. I mean, it's this room. Uh. Why did it stop? Can I pick this up? Oh, why is it quiet now? Why the fuck is it quiet now? Yeah, we saw this. We saw him throw it. Okay. Um, breathing techniques. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Or just put your headphones on. Can I open this? No, it's locked. Okay, okay. I don't really know what to do here. It said to find the source of the crying, and then the crying disappeared, so like... Excuse me? Are we gonna be doing some eavesdropping? What is this? Another premonition? Oh! Oh! Oh shit, Aaron, I'm I'm sorry you had to see that. Alrighty, so that that's a possibility. We'll we'll try and do my best to avoid that, but uh, no promises. What the fuck is going on? Okay. 
Where's this? Where's that coming from? You got lots of noise now, baby. Oh. Oh, shit. Wait, am I going insane? The- Oh, god, no. Oh, this is not ideal. Uh. Uh. Oh, no. This cannot bode well for us, Aaron. Oh! Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, no, I don't like this, my friend. Oh, yeah, I don't like this at all, my friend. Oh, I don't like this at all, my friend. Oh, don't fucking do that to me, bitch! Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, God. This has become very quickly the worst game I've ever played in my entire life. Oh, man, th there's so much noise. There's so much noise. Aaron, just keep swimming. Aaron, just keep swimming. What is going on? My own scared. Oh. And I won't be scared long. Oh, I shouldn't be in here. Oh, I should not be in here. I just got fucking lured. Um... I really hope this doesn't kill me. Oh, shitty fuck! Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I just saw the fucking premonition of the dark room. Do not tell me I'm already getting somebody killed. Oh shit. Oh no. Could I have not gone gone in there? Ah oh, well fucking Jamie's dead. Break um it. I just assumed that they wouldn't let me turn turn back. Oh shit is getting real. Shit is hitting the fucking fan. Okay. Shit. So I need to go up. Hello? Mr. Demet? Anybody home? Columbus Spa. Authorization for emergency services. Digital log installation 0451. Okay. Keep that in mind. 0451. I'm guessing that's the code to a lock somewhere. Alrighty. Don't. Don't turn the light off. Why even give me the option to try and open it? If you know it's locked, game. Be consistent. Alright. I'm assuming I need to go up somehow. Any premonitions? No? Okay. Great. Enter the creepy maintenance room in the creepy hotel on the creepy island to shoot a doc about serial killers all alone and without my stun gun. Yep, that's the dream. Choices, Jamie. Make better choices. Your own damn fault. What is this? Mr. Clark, Mr. Belknap has requested further renovations to the hotel spa. We're currently negotiating a formal contract and would like the remaining crew to conduct a cost assessment. Mr. Belknap can provide a detailed breakdown of the work he wants. Once your report has been received, we will arrange for a replacement crew to alleviate you and your team for a period. In the interim, please continue to adhere to the terms stipulated in the non-disclosure agreement and treat this period as an extension of the previous contract. 
Okay. Secret found. An estimate. The interior has been completely modified. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What did that say? Maybe that's talking about, like, the secret rooms and shit? I don't know. I didn't really see it. Um, engineering fees, permits, logistics, excavation, demolition. Okay. Doesn't really tell me much. Okay, so we got a lot of renovations going on. You know, presumably from the inheritors of this place. Enjoy your memorabilia, dude. Been at Killer fin Killer Finelia? H. H. Holmes authentic hat. $24,000? And that's fucking weird, man. You should not want a serial killer's hat. 0451, by the way. Um. Okay. Let's do door number one. Another Arkansas beast thing. No. Okay. This looks slightly ominous. Can't go on stage. Upset. But I'll live. I did not like that camera angle. Have I just done a giant loop? Okay, we're in the we're in the main lobby now. Um If I were a breaker, where would I be? I'm assuming I'm supposed to be going this way, considering it's letting me go this way. You know, gotta believe in the game logic. I did think I had to go upstairs, so maybe Maybe it'll be up here. Man, that is not how any human runs. Like, ever. Pretty sure it's illegal to run in that manner. I mean, you're, you're not even being efficient about it. What is this? An oval baby! Hell yeah. Add to my collection. I will be taking this... Taking these to Rick Harrison at... Gold and silver pawn, baby. Grantham Dumet. Alright. Mr. Murillo. Oh, this is from Mr. Dumet. Okay. Good evening. Thank you for allowing me to contact you directly. Your publisher said that you were very keen to hear from me. It seems we have a mutual interest. I have spent several years constructing the Ultimate Holmes Tourist Experience by faithfully recreating the World's Fair Hotel. We have not yet opened to the public, as there are finishing touches to complete, and I consider a man of your knowledge could provide insight that is invaluable before our official opening. Therefore, I invite you to visit the hotel for the weekend. The experience is designed to accommodate groups of five, okay, perfect, so I extend the invitation to four friends or family of your choosing. I must insist that this invitation be kept confidential until the hotel is publicly announced, so please only invite guests that you can trust to do so. That's not sketchy at all. I hope you can accept my invitation. Please reply to confirm your attendance and the four additional guests that you would like to bring. Should you accept, a limousine will pick you up, you and your guest, up at 7pm this Friday underneath the railway bridge at the corner of South Wallace Avenue and West 63rd Street, Inglewood, Chicago. I'm sure you will find the experience very interesting indeed. Hmm... Okay. So we are not the first people he's invited here. I'm really... Okay, there's th something shiny down there. I'm going to make sure this is locked. Okay. I'm, I'm really, really interested to find out what he's gaining from this. Because I'm assuming this is some sort of murder thing. I'm like, I'm assuming... Like, we're going to fucking die. Hmm. Um. Is... Is this the code? Because I don't think it was 08, 0180 last time. I could be wrong. I think those numbers are different from what they were. Because I remember I made a joke about her looking at a lamp, but I'm pretty sure she was actually looking at this. Um. Wonderful. Um. Okay. 
Maybe I missed something. Some exposition, maybe? Okay. Gotta hold, RT. Okay, you, you didn't have to fucking close the... the drawer. You really did not have to do that. Alright, pick it up. And flip that Are you fucking serious? I don't know why they... They implement this kind of fucking system every time. Just make it... I should not have to hold RT to do this. Okay. Blah blah blah. Dear Mark and Jennifer, as instructed by you, we have made the requested amendment to your will. Uh, codicil? Not, how, not sure how that's pronounced, has been added, which states that in the event of both of your deaths, the sole beneficiary of your entire estate is Mr. Richard Belknap. We recommend that a copy of this letter is given to your legal representative for their records. Please remember you can view any of your will or life insurance documents at any time by logging into your online account. Okay. Mm so we've got some will. Some amendments to a will. It's always a good sign. Might be time to join the 21st century, guys. Might be. Might be time for me to figure out what the fuck to do. Okay, yeah, 0451. Dear Mr. Belknap, following our discussions regarding renovating the hotel property for the purpose of converting it to into a tourist attraction, we have reviewed your latest design to estimate the construction work necessary. Please find, over a leaf, a breakdown of the work as well as an estimate for the total cost. The work can commence Tuesday, 13th of January and will take approximately 10 weeks with an estimated end date of Friday, March 24th. Please contact me if you wish to proceed. Okay, making some extensions to the rooms, remote receivers, overhaul of the pipework. Okay. Not too bad. I was expecting more. $800,000 to renovate the innards of a old-ass 40,000 square foot hotel. That's not too bad. Now, let me try to figure out what I'm fucking missing before you guys start to get mad at me. What are you? <sighs> the breakers. Okay. Hmm. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> are you serious? Oh my god, okay. What was it, 0451? Well, that just goes to show you that not scanning a room completely in these games is a pretty stupid fucking idea, August. Jesus, okay. God! Something from this century! Alright, um... Follow the diagram and you'll be fine. Alright. Maybe? Yeah, 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 there we go. Okay, I'm, I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to know that intuitively. Um, the arrows don't really make a whole lot of sense, but okay. No big deal. We got it eventually. I like your belt, Jamie. That's fun. Attention. Attention. This is a severe weather storm warning for the Greater Lakes area. Um. Okay, I've got to press this fucking button. I mean, you can't, you can't put me in this situation and not, not have me press this button. What the hell? Oh, this is kind of fucked. Maybe I, maybe I shouldn't have pressed the button. I don't really want to listen to this. Gotta be smarter than the chair, Bobs. Yeah, yeah. Where the hell is everyone? It's a two-person job. Uh, well, away from her Aaron's head. fucking dead. And uh, I just summoned the barbershop demon. Uh, we'll all try to get everybody on on hey, a better page with each other. Sorry if I stirred shit up at dinner. I didn't mean for it all to end up on you. Don't worry, I get it. I'm the boss. Angst rolls uphill. Forget about it. Cool. Thanks. What the hell? Uh oh. Was that Aaron? I... I really hey, don't want hey, to kill anybody. But I know I'm going to.
Um, get me out of here. Get me out of here! I can't see a thing! The door's stuck! Break it open! It's not bugging. Oh, God. Okay, well, it's just a mannequin, right? Nothing to be afraid of. Just a mannequin. Aaron? It's okay. We're right here. You're not hurt, are you? Uh... She needs her inhaler. I... I need my inhaler. I'm gonna ask my tech. What's your room number? I... Hurry! Hurry. Where's the room? Next morning, down the long hallway. Aaron? I'm going. Oh, shit. It's a getting real, baby. Here, Aaron. Just try to stay calm. How's your breath? One, two, three. In. What are you feeling for? One, two, three. Out. We need to break through. What is going on? Guys, I, I, I can't. Go and look for something to knock this door down. Me and Mark are trying to force it open. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Who's there? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shitty balls. Uh, someone's in here. I... Uh, guys? Oh, God. Guys, Fuck. somebody's in here. With, with me. Oh, God. I'm gonna fuck this up. I'm gonna fuck this up. Huh? Oh no. Oh no, no 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 um 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 Oh god, take it. Take it. <laughs> fuck No! I swear to god. I swear to god. No 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 Um... Um... Okay. Okay. That... That seems like maybe that was the correct I- the- the correct, um... The correct, uh, choice? Okay. Easy, easy. In... And out. Hey. Oh, sorry. I, I realized I wasn't really saying anything hey. meaningful through that, but... You okay? I was what? really, really not it? trying to kill somebody. Come on. <laughs> he... he was... Somebody was right there. In there with me. Aaron, it's just a dummy. No, it was not a dummy. He... he had a hat on, like H.H. H. Holmes. Charles, you're working her to death. Now she's hallucinating shit from the show? I did not- Nothing bad happened, Erin. You're okay. No one is in there. Let's all just calm down, get Erin back to her room for a rest. I'm not fucking tired. Let's go. Come on, Erin. Ooh. Somebody was moving in there. This is a, a- Am I insane or was somebody walking? Um. This is a horror trope I hate. Are we back with the curator? Ah. The oh, they're just hallucinating it. I think Erin's shown signs of serious pluck, wouldn't you say? Have you ever hallucinated something that vivid now, and where's serious? Our wayward host, Mr. Dumet. Apparently, he's left the island. How very rude not to stay for dinner. I agree. Charlie managed to rally the troops, though, and a good thing, for the road ahead is full of challenges. That's great. I can only observe. And it can be frustrating to watch. In some ways, I envy you. I only record events. You get to shape them. You'd better get back to things before one of our friends makes a poor choice on their own. Let's just all take a deep breath and not lose our minds. No, Charles. We're done. 
This has been weird every step of the way, and now it's getting scary. Oh, relax. I'm serious. Everything about this is off. Kills me to admit it, but Kate is right. Somebody tried to attack Aaron. We don't know that's what actually happened. I know what I saw. In the dark. You think I'm making this up? Everyone relax, okay? Just give me a second to think. Excuse you. <sighs> and exit stage left, our oh-so-confident and sure leader. What was that? Nice one, Charlie. Charlie is thinking. This looks a lot like a temper tantrum. Maybe he's right. If we don't crush this episode, we're all screwed. Are you kidding me? What? I'm just I've saying. I've been waiting on you for ages to actually make a decision about something. Anything. And now this is when you suddenly choose to take a stand? Sorry. Maybe I'm crazy. But if Aaron says somebody came for her, I believe her. We're not safe here. It was just a dummy. You think I'm lying? Really? I think maybe you're just confused about what you saw in the dark. I know what I saw. Look, yeah, hold on. She has her fucking inhaler. It's leaving. Just listen. Do they not question that? jump to conclusions. I'm going to go and find Dumet and get clear on everything. Everything is going to be fine, okay? And we're going to get the footage we need. He didn't show for dinner. What makes you think you can find him now? A positive attitude. You should try it sometime. Bravo, Charles. Your delusions make for such great plans. Demet left. I saw it, remember? Maybe he's back now. Maybe he's not. Would it kill you to think positively just once? I guess as far as Charlie ideas go, it's not the worst he's ever had. It's not even the worst idea I've had this evening. Don't go patting yourself on the back. I still think your priorities are fucked. Whatever. I'm going. I'm coming with you. Wait. Do you have to go? I'll be right back. Promise. No, you won't. Stay put so I know where to find you, okay? I don't care what he says. I'm done. I'm getting my shit together. Okay. I'm leaving, Mark. You coming or not? What do you mean you're leaving? Where are you going? You're gonna swim? Aaron saw someone. Okay, you're gonna jump across right. the fucking lake? Sorry. It's just Charlie said. We're not safe here. That outweighs having a damn job. You're right. Let's go, Aaron. Everything's gonna be okay. Wait here. Can't you just stay here while I pack up my stuff? I don't want to waste any time. I'm right around the corner. Let's all be quick. We'll be right back. I promise. No, don't. Sorry, just still freaked out. Can you leave it open so you guys can hear me? Of course. Seriously, how do you guys explain her having her inhaler? That was in her room that she did not have. Okay, genius. Where are we going to look first for Demet? I'm not looking for Dumet. I'm scouting for shots. If he pops up along the way, great. Jesus. You really don't care about anything else. Trying to decide if I, I should keep going right now. You know as well as I do, if we're set up and a camera is rolling, she'll want to be in front of it. <sighs> Asshole. Yeah, I feel like we're just getting into stuff. And I haven't really done a whole lot in this episode, so we'll keep going. Even though I think it might end up going longer than I wanted to, but... Ah! Who gives a shit? Why did I walk around? Just turn around and go downstairs. Alright. Some flowers knocked over. Lots of shit knocked over. What the fuck happened? Uh-oh. What happened here? I... No idea. Maybe it's time to start questioning? Oh, that is blood. That's some blood. Hey! Grantham Dumet's met. business card. He's a designer. Okay. One of five found? Gotta collect them all? Not gonna go the obvious way yet. I wonder if that groundskeeper would know where Demet went. I think that groundskeeper is probably who told Dumet to leave. 
If we're both talking about Mr. Squid Game, that is. It's still locked. What the hell? And what? What? You just now seeing this? I was literally just in here with you, but okay. Alright, let's see if we can go through here. Uh oh. Over here. That's not good. Okay, yeah. I'm freaking the fuck out. It's just blood. Just blood? It's just. Are you kidding me? You're jumping to conclusions. All we know is something was dragged along this way and it was bleeding. And that's not a cause for concern to you? All right, it's a little odd. All right, come on, Charlie. Uh, what do you want me to say? Actually, come on, Look, developers. Just do met or the groundskeeper dragging in some dead animal from outside. Nobody Maybe would react dinner. this way. The camera. I can almost guarantee you nobody would ever fucking react Welcome that way. One and all to tonight's entertainment. Oh, what the fuck? Presented by Grantham Dumet. Dumet? Well, so he hasn't mm. left. Think it might be pre recorded, Charlie boy. What the hell is going on? Is this going to end up being like a. Like a people are trying to kill us? Like for sport kind of thing? Like hunting us throughout the house. Okay. Logic tells me to go the way of the music. I want to see if there's anything down here. There's a hat. And looks like a US government seal. FBI. I first okay. met Agent Monday on More of this. 12th, 1997 at O'Hare Airport when I was assigned to welcome him off the plane. I'd actually met him once before at a lecture on criminal behavior given a few weeks prior here in Chicago, but I doubt he remembered me from that. I was pretty nervous as the new kid on the block. I was just out of training, and I'd been assigned to drive around this big shot criminal profiler who just cracked the Arkansas case, which was all over the national newspapers. My first impressions were that he was taught... Hmm. Okay. Um, our assistance is required in Chicago. They have a potential serial killer, two victims so far, and more anticipated. Following your success on the Sherman case, I need you to fly out there tomorrow to investigate. I know you've spent some time there recently to help with the profile training, so, so the local detectives should be welcoming. They'll fully brief you when you land at O'Hare. Okay. Weird. Ah, uh, fucking oboe, baby! Hey, I didn't get to give these to the curator. That's not very fun. Alright, let's see what hell awaits us. Anybody home? Why does it sound like people struggling? Lovely. Uh, what the fuck is this? I don't really want to open this door. You hear that? Please. Help the fuck? Oh shit. Oh shit, it's getting Please. real, guys. Are you do anything? What happened? Are you okay? Oh. What the fuck? Oh. Stop. Look. Ooh. Uh oh. So uh -oh. Be you shift your weight off that plate. And this guy is getting run through by that thing. Uh-oh. Help. Please. Help. Help me. Jamie. Um. 
Oh shit. Uh, uh, I'm gonna stay. This could be the worst. This this could be really bad, but I'm gonna stay. For me. Oh my god. Watch where you're stepping. Watch where you're stepping, Charlie. Well, I have a feeling that he was kind of in on it anyway, so you know. What did I do? Gonna get the fuck out no of harm, here. no foul, yeah. right? Charlie. I tried my best. Let's go. Well, y'all seem quite calm for two people who just watched a man get fucking scythed to death. Did you see him? The mask? What the hell was that? <laughs> oh, yeah. We're trapped. This is a good sign. Jesus. We're trapped. What do we do? Break the fucking door down. Right. On three. That's not gonna One, work. Two. Three. It's metal fucking bars. What are you guys expecting? You hear that? Yes. What is happening? Oh, man. Good thing I did not end the episode yet. It's getting hey, fucking real, baby. Don't do that. And don't make fun of me. Sorry. Wouldn't want you to cut yourself. The rock is sharp as hell and, you know, super magical. It's an amethyst crystal. It helps keep you calm by blanketing you in protective energy. I know. I remember. If you know, then don't call it a rock. Maybe I just feel like you should take responsibility of your own emotions and Damn. stop outsourcing the job to a crystal. It makes me feel better. It makes me feel better. Something you never seem to be able to do. Damn! Okay, Holy shit. A shitty thing to say. I'm sorry. It's fine. This isn't the time or place to... I have to tell you something. Okay. Earlier, you brought up that DP job I blew off. I never told you the truth about it. About what? It wasn't a job. Not really. What are you talking about? Remember my friend Murray? He was setting up a studio in Brooklyn, Fine Arts. He wanted a partner. That's your dream. Yeah. There is exactly zero money to made, so I thought you'd tell me it was insane, rightfully. Because it would be. You should have chased that dream, man. Wait, I mean, did you ever think maybe of chasing the dream first? And making it work practically second? Clearly not. I'm here, aren't I? Things are already oh. starting to get <laughs> tough for He's us. angry. Oh, no, no, no. Don't put any of this on me. This is all you. I know. I turned it down because it would have taken me away from you. Mm. I'm gonna say nothing because... Um, oh, you're not going to say I don't want to say it's stupid, but they don't they don't seem like they were that serious, so that's what I should probably say, but I don't want to say that and fuck up our relationship. I I just uh, What do you want me to say? Guess I was holding out for things to change with us. Deep down, I'm still hoping. Hmm. Yeah, man, you should have said some of this before. Said all this before. I know. I'm not going through it all again. What if this time is different? Oh, come on. That's not likely, and you know it. Sorry. I guess I'm a little confused. We better go. Let's get back to Aaron and get the fuck out of here. Okay. Do you think they found Dumet? Charles seems hell-bent on talking to him, so maybe, yeah. 
All right, so we are about an hour and a half into this. Um, I don't want to go on for another 20 or 30 minutes and have these be two hour long episodes. So I'm going to stop this here. I think this is a pretty decent stopping point. Shit is getting real, people. Um, I'm glad to see we're not, you know, lollygagging around for six or seven hours and then having 30 minutes of action. It's getting real, baby. So I'm excited to see where this goes in the next episode. I'm starting to really enjoy this. But uh, that's going to be it today. Uh, let me know what you guys are thinking so far. See ya.